So before we get started, who is Joey? Joey is a mostly autistic, uh, catastrophically addicted to drugs, uh, friends with Sam High, among other various traits. Uh, he's from Connecticut, so unfortunate. Really, there's not much nice that can be said about him. First step to a Joey beat is the half step ascending fifth. Just in a, on this, I got an Electra Arch from the ARP single player pack. For effects, just got a simple EQ, taking out the highs and the lows, just to add a little flavor on top. I've got this Nexus floating up here. Nexus 4, classic JP leader. And just to add a little bit more flow, I've got this white noise kind of melodic type sound and a little transition fill. So all the melodies together. And first things first, gotta have the clap. And on this beat, I left the middle clap out and added a snare in place of it. And instead of having the snare hitting on the three also, I scooted it back. So here's the clap and the snare. On top of that, I've got two hi-hats. So all of the percussion together. On top of all of that, I've got more sound effects and percussion down here, just risers, crashes, just things to keep the flow going. Here's the biggest sauce, it's the 808. First off, we got Old Faithful, the Meds 808. faithful to complement that we've got this 808 from the Thayer period drum kit would greatly recommend it sounds like this playing with the meds 808 now for the vocals now Joey's vocals can range greatly based on the song. He does like the lower vocal fry deliveries. He does like the higher like blade type deliveries. So it's hard to say that one specific style is the Joey style. But this song I tried to go for like virtual like yeet inspired Joey, Eminem, tracks like that, the lower vocal fry delivery. So I started off with the octave takes. I've got them four minutes shifted because my voice is a little higher than his. It just sounded weird without it. And I've just got a typical vocal chain, auto-tune, noise gate, compressor, saturation, uh, RCA vocals, vocal rider, clarity for more denoise and EQ just giving it more air and cutting out some of the lows. So that octave stack sounds like this. Once the vocals actually start, they sound like this and I'm gonna do something that no man has done before. I'm gonna play the raw vocals. Now just bear with me, alright? Just, just bear with me. Never need a plug when I pull. It's pretty bad, I know. It's pretty bad. 
just uh just trust the process first things first you gotta slap the auto tune on it zero retune speed and then noise gate compressor saturator which really brings out the color in it RCA vocals, just once again bringing out more. Vocal writer, just writing it out. Hey yo, what the fuck? And we got DSer, EQ, and another limiter, just squashing it the rest of the way down. And then I've got a second vocal chain that's the last bar of every syllable. And I've got it routed to another channel with a delay on ping pong and I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what the low cut keep it from getting muddy. So on every downbeat <laughs> and it just adds a lot more impact to it. And lyrically, I just wanna talk about things that you don't do. So like in this I'm talking about like Miami beach parties talking about uh i don't need a plug when i pull up on the scene uh smoke anyway uh here's the full song <laughs>